really all about helping people generate new customers and find customers, customers that you're working with, and find and find uh, and find new leads. Um, so far, we actually launched version 1.0 last June, and I'm here to demo uh, version 2.0. Um, but I'll give you a little bit of a backstory of where we came from, so you understand like what went into 2.0 and where where where, where, where that how that demo worked out. Um, so basically, you know, we uh, about 10,000 customers create their own uh, create their own landing pages, um, and we launched June. We we're basically a service that had variations on on this basic kind of template, which I'm sure you've seen before, um, popularized by a very pretentious startup named Alan Walshrock. Um, but ours are a lot more when their customers run out of runway and want us to service their landing pages on steroids, they come to us. Um, and so the basic, this is a customer page, and so the basic concept is a customer would you know, promote this and somebody would come up and they'd sign up. Um, and then uh, we do the whole uh, tracking, a, a unique referral link uh, for somebody makes the sharing easy. Um, so I could come up and I could share this on Twitter. Um, they had to customize their Twitter text. Um, this was a popular page today, so I figured I'd just pull it up. Um, and basically, we also handle the email side of things. So we will send out an autoresponder to that person, track uh, their sign-ups, and we also send out um, influencer mail to sort of help with the gamification of the whole sign-up process. So um, if, the, if I then went and signed up 10 more people, I'd get an email saying, hey, thanks from PocketCloud, saying, hey, thanks for signing up 10 more people. Did you know you're only five people away from winning the iPad or whatever the person wants to give away? So. Uh, for example, we had a customer uh, that sells scooters, um, and they're launching a new kind of scooter that's for tricks in the park. I know nothing about this, but the videos they post on their website, on their on their kickoff last page, are really cool. Um, and uh, they went from using our system. They went from a list. They seeded it with 100 people, and they said uh, every person you refer is a raffle ticket to win the scooter when it launches. So they're just giving away one. Um, in three weeks, they had 6,000 people signed up on their list. One person had single-handedly referred 3,000 people um, on the list. So um, it wasn't the founder, because I emailed the guys and said, is this one of you somehow promoting it? And they said, no, that was just some random person we didn't know that had signed up from one of the first people that came in. So even if he didn't win, they were going to do something really nice for him. Um, and while this page is nice, you realize one thing about this kind of service, which is, um, New people, particularly startups, have no money. Um, and so <laughs> there were other customers who were using our pages for things like contests. Um, there were bands using our pages to grow their newsletters. Um, there were lots of people um, trying to sell something uh, with our pages that just weren't quite flexible enough for them. So our goal with Kickoff Labs 2.0 was expand our audience into that reach of keep making it simpler. So our, our motto when we launched this first thing was a landing page in 60 seconds. So we still wanted to be able to get under a minute. Wanted to be able to serve that much wider audience um, of pages that you know, are about selling something or about you know, joining a newsletter or about selling a mobile app, and so creating a you know more fully featured page and experience for, um, for the customer. Um, and so that was our goal uh, <coughs> with, uh, with with 2.0. So that meant more themes, that meant customizable forms, and then a whole bunch of features. Um, and so to kind of give you some examples of what um, we can do, and I'll walk through. So uh, as an example, this is one of our you know, forms that are about you know, selling something. It could be an ebook or something else. Um, and in here, you'll notice there's not really a sign-up form. It's just we're tracking the success of the click-through in this case. So it's not even about an email capture on this page. Um, this is a mobile app um, using one of our mobile apps. Uh, using our mobile app, one of our mobile app templates, um, heavily inspired by the uh, Instagram landing. And it didn't work for a billion dollars for them, so we'll see other people do that. Um, and then you know, on the other side of things, um, somebody you know, signing up uh, a mailing list. That seemed like a little bit odd on the pages, but um, you know, a place for a video, a place to talk about features, and then you know, some integration with Facebook to make it easy to get the you know, integration to social. So going beyond just that referral link tracking, how can we continue to make landing pages social and making this simple so it's just they create a page, they get their um, people posting about it on Facebook, they have a wall on, on the landing page, so it's not just about the click through and the squeeze, it's about also making the page social. Um, so now I'll go through and I'll try this on the squeeze uh, and show you kind of what we did with uh, 2.0 on the launch. So this is uh, my account, so I'm sorry some pages created, but you would start here if you had no pages uh, created yet. 
when we create a new page, you can see it's converted now and going into a much wider selection of templates uh, for people to start off from. Um, and let's see, I'll just say, uh, this, is this, is, this is our pseudo product. And so I'll choose uh, this one. It's going to be a little bit weird with the size of the screen. But you see the page is a little bit, you know, it's not about a launch page I could put in. Uh, the slide shows it really quickly. I can have a gallery thing, and then uh, the sign up form you know, is a little bit buried, so the page has some interactive elements to it just based on the template. Um, I could just come in here, do as opposed to as simple as editing you know, a page like that, um, customize the form, and make that drag and drop to people. So now I add um, phones. Basically, what we decided from talking to our customers was that there's a cliff of users that kind of just came to our service. And there's people that just want to fill in the blank like I just did, have a page up in two minutes, and then go. And there's people that, I'm a designer, I know what I want it to look like, in which case we said, fine, you can have access to the HTML and go ahead and analyze it. It doesn't work minimized, but if you can get some experience with that, it's a CSS and HTML and presentation, similar to um, creating really simple WordPress or Tumblr theme. And so our goal with this is both um, now, what's it supposed to do? Our goal with this is both, like I said, to, to support that fast user and then also support the user that just knows exactly what they want it to look like and create a simple API for people to build these pages out. And what this is advantage that this has now is that similar to Tumblr and WordPress, while we haven't opened it yet, um, we're working on um, a marketplace so people can create their own PNG templates and resell page templates and then we can score the page templates in the marketplace based on the conversion rate. So we'll know which templates convert really well based on the industry. So if people create a bunch of, we have people working on healthcare templates um, for dental offices and doctor's offices, I'll be able to tell which of those templates converts the best and we can put them in the marketplace and say, choose the one that fits you, but keep in mind, here's the conversion data behind each one um, and make the people making those templates money as well as well. I don't mind pocketing some myself. Um, and uh, we are a for-profit startup. Um, and um, that is pretty much the basics of the editor in, in 2.0 with the templates and HTML. Um, <coughs> I'm a little bit slow coming up to that. Let's see. The, the other, on the other side of things, like I said, we offer the ability to send out newsletters for the service. So we offer the ability um, to uh, send out autoresponders. You can get it all out from the dashboard. Um, and then here, Yeah, we also, when we can, we go out and collect additional data about people that sign up. So you can see we, we ourselves um, don't ask for any of this information, but I know that this person is from Round Rock. Here's their social profile. Here's their LinkedIn. Here's their Facebook profile. And we give you all this data that you could then reuse and segment your email list by. So if you wanted to not just not ask about location, but get it for a decent number of us, but people take time to fill it in the background. We have a job that runs right with the back of the page. But, um, we get that for about 50% of the signups that happen, uh, that happen on our service. And I think it's 50 or 60? 50. 50% is what we get the additional data for. Um, it's scary what's on the internet. You don't want to know. Um, and uh, that is Kickoff Labs 2.0 primarily. Is that the domain management? Is that for setting up custom subdomains? Or? Yeah, so you can use a custom subdomain off of our service if you want to use our basic but anybody who's, uh, most people who are serious, they'll have their own domain and then we let you set up the path. You can have multiple landing pages off the path. So we have people that run targeted AdWords promotion, you know, maybe an ebook campaign that's run through a landing page about giving away an ebook, and then you'll have another campaign just about signing people up. And then those will use the same domain, but we also support the path. So you can have 10 or 12 or 20 domains on our pages off of one single domain. So um, 
uh, managing domains and then some of the account features. So you can see that uh, I've got these kind of three domains set up um, here in the little line and you know, people can configure them and walk through. So if you were, let's say, a computer manufacturer, mm -hmm. um, and you had this and you pray, and then you know, you, your shoe is actually developing now. Yep. And you want, like, you like this, but you just need one more page. So there's, there's, two, there's two things that happen to customers um, that want to present today. So because we allow, allow people to do the different pages on different paths of their of their main of their first domain, people have set up um, an account with different pages, different paths, and three path messages. So you take uh, people have set up, you know, they'll set up two pages, one for their main site and another one maybe about a contest or another one about some. So the second one is like I'm gonna sell food on this page. Yeah. I mean it's not a it's not a landing page. Well, it's a conversion page. You're selling scooters or your, your site. Well, no, they have shopping sites. I mean, so yeah. the point is, they need to do something that you don't do, yep. but they but they still like the, what you do. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know what yeah, no, I know what you mean. So it's like, really like a lot of what people do is they set up, then they'll set up their main site with their shopping cart. Like, so we have a customer that has you know, a WordPress site decked out with their shopping cart. They run all of their contests and promotions off of our service, off of the subdomain. Contest.scooterme.com um, or promotion.scooterme.com. And so our service is then in charge of their promotions and their, um, and their like, trying to get people to like them or sign up an email list or convert in some other way um, on the service. So they'll use a subdomain um, while they're using some of the domains for, uh, for their WordPress site. Do they, they just embed that in the line frame in their site or what? Uh, no, it's actually we manage that subdomain for them. So when you get a subdomain, uh, it's managed by this blog. And then also, we do have some 